lay me down to sleep type of individual because I don't believe in that. I believe in telling you the truth of what it says. I believe in the depth of God's Word. People look at the genealogy in God's Word and say, well, I was just in there to kind of let us know who's who. Well, there's a point in it is to show you from what lineage Christ came through. If I asked you tonight whose lineage Christ came through, how many of you could tell me? How many of you David would you go farther back than that? Seth. to study to show yourself approved. It doesn't mean just casually read it and take it at face value. It means to prepare scripture and scripture. God I will paint a picture for you if you'll take the time to peel back the layers. Prepare this scripture with this scripture. Well this scripture says this. Let's look at what this one says. You are not meant to walk in blindness. Paul said, I would have you not to be ignorant. And then Apollos, why does he say that? Because he doesn't want you to be ignorant of the things of God. That's what he's talking about. He wants you to know these things. These people that like to knock prophecy. These people that like to knock well, we don't need to know this stuff. That stuff doesn't come and pass. I'm sorry, but there are prophecies that are unfilled, unfulfilled. God tells us these things for a purpose, and that is to prepare us for the things that are coming so that we can be prepared for it. sacrificing myself for a bunch of people that are stiff-necked that don't want to know the depths of my heart and the love that I have for them. But he did. He made the time. He left glory to come down here suffer and die. Years ago, I, I got a vision. Not really a vision, as in a sense of a vision. But I actually have a vision of the sacrifice that Christ made. Now, I've been taught this since I was a child. Years ago, it's like God said, you know, I think you need a better understanding of what it is that I, I'm trying to tell you here. Unless you understand this and understand it completely, you can't tell other people. You can't go out here and tell other people about Jesus Christ unless you can show them the love that I'm trying to show you. And convey to you. It was an eye experience for me. But wow. Somebody turned on a really bright light. And I have an understanding of that love. easy for me to tell somebody about what I've done because I have an understanding. If you don't have an understanding, well, God's sake, please go on. When 
I was growing up in church, people walked around all the time with long faces. My mom used to get on to me all the time because I laughed all the time. I liked to laugh. I liked to cut up. I'm one of the biggest cut ups you'll ever be around. I often say I am my father's son because my dad was a cut up. But if you look at Scripture, God's people are supposed to be some of the most joyous people in the world. We're not to walk around with long faces. We're not supposed to get dismayed over the things that happen. During the conference that I came from in Cleveland, Tennessee, one of the things that was pointed out in one of the services was that if we will keep our eyes on Jesus Christ, be aware of what's going on around us, but stay focused on Him and not worry about it because we know God is in control, then we don't have to worry about these things. Amen. close to God, you're going to go through battles. You're going to have to endure trials. You can't move up to the next level with God without going through it. The Bible is very specific. During that conference, one of the altar called and gave me. I stayed in my seat. Then I prayed there. Lord, I want to get so close to you that the smallest breath from you will I hear it. Amen. When you breathe, I want to hear it. I want to feel it. I want to be that close to you. Because I made up my mind a long time ago that there is nothing in this world worth my walk with Him. Nothing. No shiny fruit of any kind will sway me from Him. I look for the day and I'm excited church age coming to an end. Now, granted, I'm here to do a work. What is that work? And that is to teach the Word of God, to minister the Word of God. That's what I was called to do, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to sit idly by and let somebody else do it, because you're not still my crown. It's not about the reward for me. It's about making it. I've had this conversation. 
conversation with people in the past. I don't want nothing in my life that can keep me from going to the right or next place. Amen. I don't want something small, something that is hindering me to keep me from getting out of here. Because quite frankly, after knowing what I know about the tribulation, it was to happen during the time of tribulation, I do not want to go through it. Heaven forbid any of y'all have to go through it. Heaven forbid any of your family members should have to go through it. That's why it's imperative, folks. And I don't use that word lightly. It is imperative. Every opportunity you get to minister to somebody in your family, co-worker, whomever it may be, it is imperative that you share the gospel of Jesus Christ with everybody that you come in contact with. Now, I grant it. I understand. You're not always going to get an opportunity. But you make the effort. I'll start conversations with people that I work with. But most of the time, it's about work. We end up talking about the Bible. Because I know how to weave it in there. I've learned how to put it in there, to inject things to the Word of God into my job. that each one of you has a desire and a hunger in their heart to get just as close to him as you can possibly get. We don't know, the Bible tells us, we don't know the day or the hour in which the Son of Man, the Son of Man is coming. Had you known when a thief was coming, you would have been prepared. Send you through tribulation. He'll reveal it to you. But you have to ask. I've done this before, and he revealed things in my life that I had no clues there. Why are you saying this? Why are you getting at this? What are you driving at with this? There are things in your life that you may think, well, I got rid of that years ago. But it's still there. You have to deal with it. You just see that only I know about that. No, God knows about it. But if you'll ask him, he'll show these things to you. Get it under the blood. The Bible says to lay aside every weight that so easily beset you. those weights in your life to drag you down and will hold you here. You're really mm -hmm. Amen. Most gracious Heavenly Father God, I come before you in the name of Jesus. I give you all the praise, the honor, and the glory for your word. For your word going forth tonight, Father. Lord, I pray if there's anybody here tonight, Father God, that's not walking as closely to you as they possibly can. I pray, God, you would speak to their hearts tonight, Lord. Lord, that you would reveal to them, Father, what 
what it is that holds them. Those weights that so easily beset us, Father God. Lord, help us to lay off the weights so that when the time comes, we can go in rapture, Lord. Lord, I pray, God, that you would touch each person here tonight, Lord, that you would move upon them in Jesus' name. Lord, that you would give them the utterance of the Holy Spirit to speak to people. They would take this word outside these four walls. Your word was not meant to be contained within four walls, but it was meant to be spread abroad in the world. Lord, I pray, God, tonight that each one of us will take every opportunity that presents itself to us to minister to these people, Father, in Jesus' name. Lord, I give you all the praise, the honor, and the glory in Jesus' name. Everybody said, Amen. Thank you.